Shalom. This is Taza Doc from the GMS Los Angeles camp. Come back in the truth and the spirit of Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakadash. Hey, double honors to the apostle and the elders of the great millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation for the hopeful Lake Akim that's pushing his word feverly during these end times right now. So, as you can see, um, Australia, thousands of the cash machines are removed across the country as banks go digital. Hey, we've been talking about this for a very long time, for the past 14 years. The apostles have been talking about it for years and years and years, decades, man. That they will gradually remove the paper money and enter a digital age, okay? This is where you got the... 5G towers, this is where you got all these other bullshit that's going around, okay? The metaverse and all this stuff. Everybody, everything is going digital, okay? They are getting rid of the paper dollar, of the dollar, okay? To really get everybody gradually into the what? To the system. That's what they're doing. So let's get with the first scripture, okay? Um... I'm already running out of battery. I could have sworn. It's all right. It's all right. It's going to be a short lesson. All right, because right now we at the end times, man. And right now we're looking at these prophecies. All right. And one of the main prophecies is the is the Karakma. Okay. So as you can see right now, everything is going digital. So for you can gradually be in the system. And it starts with, with the Karakma, man. Okay, so let me get Revelation. No, let's get Romans. Let's get Romans, the 13th chapter, verse 10. All right, and it reads Romans 13, verse 10, and it reads verse 11. And that knowing that, that, that and that knowing the time, all right. And that knowing the time, right now we at the end times. Our salvation is nigh than we believe. Okay? We the time of hate and war, and these prophecies need to be fulfilled. All right? Romans 13, verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now is a high time to wake out of sleep. Right now we're at the highest point of these end times, man. These prophecies are about to be fulfilled. Okay? It's time to wake out of the world you win. That the, the worldly spirit that you're in, man. It's time, to, it's time to wake out of the matrix, man. Unplug. All right? We're at the highest time of digital of um, digital information through the tips of our, with our phone. Okay? A lot of information is being processed throughout the day, man. News. Information that everyone needs to know. That's why the Lord sent his shepherds out there to feed you with knowledge, wisdom, understanding of our enemy, man. And of the scriptures and his knowledge. All right. So let's read. And now is a hard time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe, man. Yes, our salvation is nearer. The king, Yahweh Shai, is going to return and decimate this place, man. All right. But we need those prophecies to fulfill. And one of those prophecies, as you can see, wars and rumors, war is already going. All right. The prophecy of the Karagma is coming at hand, man. Okay? They moving fast. All right? These, the globalists, what you call the world, we call them the elites, the bankers are moving fast. All right? So let me get the book of Revelation 19, verse 10. All right? Because we all got to come with the spirit of prophecy. It's all about these prophecies. We got to push it. We got to keep pushing it, keep breaking it down to the people, man. That's our job. All right, we got we got no time to be taking breaks, man. We got no time to be pussyfooting around, man. It's moving fast. All right, Revelation nineteen verse ten. And I fell to, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. This is the angel. He said, Don't do that, man. All right, I am thy fellow servant of thy brethren. The angels are our brothers, man. All right. That have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High for the testimony of Yahweh Shai, the spirit of prophecy. And that's what we're coming with. Speak thou to, to the ears of my people, the spirit of prophecy. All right? 
he gonna put he gonna put his words and thy mouth to speak to the people and that's what we doing we out there in the, we out there on the weekends during the camps and we out there during the week doing these videos man and give you this information all right now let's read one of these prophecies man and that going to end it from there man all right this is um Revelation 13, all right, and verse 16. Let me start at, yeah, let me go to 16. All right, and you know a lot of these groups are tired when we when when, it, when we um come with these scriptures, man. They say y'all so redundant, y'all so well. The scriptures are repetitive and redundant. Why? Because our people, the children of Israel, is hard headed as hell, man. Okay, they are hard enough to crack, so it has to be said more than once, more than twice, more than three three times. Okay, almost say tree, man. God, man. Uh, anyway, <laughs> this is Revelation 13, verse 16. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. So it doesn't matter what class you win, are you rich or you poor? Or you are on the high standing and the low standing. Don't matter. All right. Free and bond. Who's free? The people that's out here. The one that's bonded are the, are, are the ones that's in jail. Okay. To receive a mark in their right hand. So when you go to the word mark, it will say karagma. It's something physical. We've been saying this for so many times. And we're going to keep saying it. It doesn't matter if you don't like it or not. You're going to listen no matter what. All right. To receive a mark in their right hand. So when you go to the word mark, it goes to the um, Greek word karagma. It's something physical, something physically implanted in your hand, in your skin, okay? To receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. What's the forehead? It's about the brain implantation. You can find that in a lot of books, man, with William Cooper. He exposed that in his book, all right? And as you can see, Elon Musk, with his um, um, putting um, chipping um, chipping um, monkeys, man. So you know, at least they moving fast, man. Okay, to get ready to be to get ready for that beast system, man. To 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 have their slaves for the new world order. All right, let's get that out. This is um. This is, let me get it out real quick. Job, I think it's the fifth chapter, I believe. Yes, this is Job 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. So what's one of the devices of the crafty? The karagma. That's a device of the crafty. Who's the crafty? The bankers, the elites, the so-called white man, Esau, Edom. All right? They the crafty, they sneaky, man. They they move like serpents, man. Joel 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. What do you mean by disappointed? Who gonna disappoint him? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. Let's read. Joel 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. What's that enterprise? The new world order. The globalists, the elites plan is to karagma the whole fucking earth, man. The whole people all, all over the earth. For they can have complete control of these people, man. Okay? That God complex. The Godhead. That's what he want. But the Lord's going to disappoint him, man. Yahweh Bashem Shah going to disappoint our enemy, Esau, Edom. Let's read it again. Job, fifth chapter, verse 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. All right? Their new world order is not, is not going to um, come to fruition. They think it is, but it's not. Because Yahweh Bashmi Shai is going to step in. All right? So let's go back to Revelation 13, verse 16 again. And it reads, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, 
free and bound to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that he has the mark. Now you already had a little test run with with the with the plague. With the with the um with the jump shot. Okay, they had a test run. So who, who whoever didn't have the jump shot, okay. You know, the Abdul Kareem Jabbar hook shot. All right. They weren't able to go into certain stores or certain restaurants. That was a test run to see how the people, the sheep, will react to it. Okay. But guess what? They're going to make this live with this with this Karagma, man. They're going to treat it the same way as what they did with the plague jump shot. Okay. Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark, the karagma, or the name of the beast of the number of his name. All right? That's what's going to roll. The so-called white man, Esau Edom, the least, is trying to push this karagma agenda. This is part of the prophecy, man, that we pushing out right now, that we warning our people. Okay? You see what they're doing right now. They're getting rid of the dollar for you can enter in the digital age. And what's going to take for that digital age is a system. And you already know what it is. The Karagma. Okay? For everybody to be hooked up into a supercomputer, man. Knowing how much they, they will know. They will control all your money. They will control your spirit. Everything. You are home born slave property of the elites Esau Edom if you take that Karagma that's what we out here prophesying man this is going to come and we warning our people not to take that bullshit man and I don't care a lot of you other camps man I don't really care what you have to say we're prophesying through these scriptures man we're not coming with our own vain emotions man Esau, Esau Eden moving full speed ahead While y'all sitting on your asses man Teach Warn the people Prophesy But the Lord already has men that's doing that right now The right way So with that Shalom